Hello, my name is Charlie Jones, and today I'm here to talk to you about sensory memory, short-term memory, long-term memory, age progression, memory loss. And this public service announcement is specifically for my friends who are well seasoned with age. For those who classify as senior citizens, they're elderly. Let's get right into it. Sensory memory. What is sensory memory? Sensory memory is the first stage of memory. It's where your brain processes information. This information is not consciously controlled, and it is continually gathered through the five senses. An example of the first stage of memory or the sensory memory will be um, object oriented. It is like when you stare at an object and you close your eyes, you can see the object once your eyes close temporarily before the object disappears. That is your uh, first stage of memory working. It doesn't hold it doesn't hold images for long, maybe about a second, and then they disappear. Uh, as I stated previously, most of the information is gathered through the five senses. And if it doesn't make it to the second stage, the information is forgotten. Moving on, let's talk about short-term memory. The second stage in memory, or working active memory. Information in the uh, short-term memory is quickly forgotten if there is no conscious effort to retain it. Information that goes into your short-term memory is known as it stays in there for less than a minute from 20 to 45 seconds. And this short-term memory is known as temporary storage. In your short-term memory is where processing and, encode, and encoding <laughs> takes place. This is a mental process where activities needed. This is the information that is used in your long-term memory. It is processed and encoded. That's the information that goes to your long-term memory. If the information is not processed and encoded, then it does not make it to the long-term memory, which will be the next stage we'll be talking about, the long-term memory. It stores your information in the long-term memory, stays there over an extended period of time. It could last for hours or it could last for years. Long-term memory consists of four types of memory. Explicit memory, memories that can be consciously retrieved, such as dates, facts, episodes, and events. Episodic memory, which is first episodes or events in your life, for example, um, Sweet 16 or a big football game. Somatic memory, which deals with knowledge and concepts about the world. And implicit memory, which is remembering without awareness which could refer to riding a bicycle or a triangle shoe or things of that nature.